Target 12 investigators have new details now on the hit and run controversy involving the head of Ripta. Police have now released body worn camera video from the crash at the McDonald's drive through two weeks ago that has resulted in a criminal charge against Scott Avedesian. Target 12 investigator Tim White first broke this story and is here now with the latest. Tim. Target 12 obtained the video through a public records request to Warwick Police. Scott Avedesian is accused of being behind the wheel of his ripped a vehicle when he slammed into the back of another car at a McDonald's drive through late last month. And then he hit him so hard that he went forward and hit me. The body worn camera video of the March 27th incident never shows ripped to CEO Scott Avedesian. Witnesses say he took off after causing a chain reaction crash at a McDonald's drive thru. I could just see it was like, you see, definitely wasn't straight. Can you tell if his eyes were bloodshot or anything? Yeah, they were definitely bloodshot. Witnesses tell police Avedesian appeared intoxicated. He has not been charged with DUI. And then he told us to pull aside. And yeah. right after he told us to pull aside, he happened to just looked it. About a half hour later, police were at Avedesian's Warwick home. In a police report, they wrote the hood of the Ripta car still felt warm. Police took pictures of the damage on the front of the vehicle. And no one came to the door when they knocked and rang the doorbell. Back at the McDonald's, police talked to workers and later would obtain video surveillance that they say clearly shows Avedesian behind the wheel. He was later charged with one misdemeanor count of leaving the scene of an accident. Avedesian pleaded not guilty to that charge. Coming up new at 6, we're hearing from the chairman of Ripta's board, DOT director Peter Alvidi, about this incident. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News. Target 12 investigators have new details about the investigation into the CEO of Ripta, Scott Avedesian, who's accused of leaving the scene of an accident. Warwick Police today released body-worn camera video from the night of that drive through hit and run. Target 12 investigator Tim White first broke this story and is here now with the very latest. Tim. The police video was given to us after we made a public records request. In it, you won't see Scott Avedesian. Witnesses say he fled in the unmarked ripped a vehicle moments after causing a chain reaction crash. At just after 7 p.m. on March 27th, officers knocked on the door of Scott Avedesian's Warwick home. Nothing. Just about 30 minutes earlier, they were here at a McDonald's on Post Road in Warwick. And then he hit him so hard that he went forward and hit me. Two people told police a driver with white hair slammed into the back of this Mercedes, which then hit this Toyota. One of the victims tells police the driver of the black Ford Explorer that hit him initially got out of his car. I could just see it was like, you would see definitely wasn't straight. Can you tell if his eyes were bloodshot or anything? Yeah, they were definitely bloodshot. Right. It uh, was a similar story from the other vehicle. But he got out, like I said, he looked very intoxicated, and he's like, well... One of the victims snapped a picture of the license plate as the driver fled. Last week, Avedesian pleaded not guilty to one misdemeanor charge of leaving the scene of an accident. How were you informed about the incident and when? Well, I think I, I learned, like everyone else, from the news, from you. Okay, so he didn't call you or anything like no, that? Okay. no. 12 News anchor Kim Kalunian sat down Tuesday with DOT director Peter Alvidi, who is also the chair of the RIPTA board. I take my time. I, I, I like to think things out, and I like to hear from the other board members and from Scott himself in a forum where we could openly discuss this, and, and I'm sure we'll find a, a solution to it. Avedesian's attorney, former House Speaker John Harwood, tells me the witness statements that Avedesian appeared intoxicated is, quote, a stretch and points out his client was not charged with DUI. The RIPTA board has called a special meeting for this Thursday to discuss Avedesian's future. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News.